Mo Leng Tin Jin. Hello, everyone from Teen Yet Dragons YouTube channel. This is Jie Sifu, and today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic that, um, for those of you who are learning in our lineage, you might like this topic a lot because it's something that you will want to know and master to be able to tell your friends and show show with them. Okay. And this topic is how to explain Taoism to uh, to a newbie, okay, or like anyone who have zero knowledge on this thing. And how can we tell them what you're practicing, what you're doing right now, okay? So um, just let's get into the topic, okay? <laughs> Basically, if you tell someone like. <clears throat> Imagine you're like a, a white, okay? So you you're from USA, and your friend is all you know like zero knowledge on this thing, and you start telling them, Taoism is a ancient Chinese religion found by a white hair guy called Lao Zi, and then basically it's uh, all about this book that you have no idea. It's so mysterious, but you can Google it up and look at the Tao Te Ching and shit like that. Okay, that doesn't make them interested, and it tells them nothing except for this thing have a long history. Okay, now. That's what I call bullshit, okay? You know, you learn Taoism, right? It's supposed to be cool, you know? Something you want to share with your friend, hype them up, and something that's useful, right? It's not something that, that okay, you join and you're going to learn the old stuff and you're going to, like, dig into this old ancient crap and it's going to, you know, magically turn you into Superman. It's not like that, okay? Taoism is something cool. It's something that you will need for your daily life. It's not something like, oh, you go in there and study some ancient stuff, history, and the dead bodies, you know, you don't need that crap, okay? In our religion, you're a cool Taoist. So, what is Taoism, you know? Like, someone asked you, hey, what's this thing that you're, you know, this thing that you're doing right there with this guy on YouTube? What's, what the heck is that, okay? The fastest way to tell them is, Taoism is a way to master the energy of creation, which allows you to improve your life and also to bring in more potentials that your life don't have from a source that is gathered and accumulated and cultivated by the lineage. Okay, it's like this lineage have a farm. You go into there, you can get benefit from the farm by like picking the fruit and learning how to grow crops and bring the crops home and grow it at your own garden. And then you go back to the big farm. You know, we can share the, uh, the, the crops and stuff. And basically when you need help, you got a bunch of cool guys right here helping you out as well. When you got like attack, you know, people doing sorcery, evil magic and crap like that on you, you can, you know, kick their ass and... You know, you don't have to really be afraid of things that most people are going to be afraid of, like ghosts, you know, um, spiritual stuff coming at you, you know, people doing jealous and do a curse on you, that kind of stuff, you know, you, it's going to be okay. You will have the power to kick their ass and uh, uh, you don't have to guess about what's going on because there's a whole theory in the lineage that tells you like, oh, how energies work and how this and that work. And basically you look at these sorceries, you can explain them right away already. Okay, so it's a very cool thing. And okay, now your friend is like, but but um, I never get attacked by these things. And I never see a ghost in my whole life. You know, those might be fake, right? Maybe it's a uh, movie stuff, you know. How can it really benefit me the real way? <laughs> you know, like it's not practical, right? All the ghosts and things, I never encounter anything, right? The hell do I have to care? That's right. Not everyone is interested in the ghosty side of things because not everyone get uh, haunted or cursed, you know, like maybe the whole whole life is about tech and uh, gadget and stuff, you know, they don't really see it. So you can tell them, right? Talism is not only about that kind of stuff, okay? You can, you, it's like you have uh, electricity. You can put electricity into many things and create wonders, okay? So basically it's like that. It's a kind of power where you can apply it on anything you do. And there are three, okay, three key points, ding, ding, three things that you can do with these energy, okay? There are like different types of energy. So three things. One, okay, let's label them with colors, okay? One is the white, white color, okay, white label. 
This will increase the potentials of stuff. It's like having more money on things, okay? Whenever you put more money onto this and that, it gets better, right? Because you have more potential to, let's say you want to buy a house, you have more money, you can buy a bigger house, right? There's more potential. And uh, if you, let's say you have a project, you put more money into it, you can blossom out into a better, bigger, no, nicer project because you can use the money on things that you will need. So the project becomes better, right? Okay. Now, the second thing, okay? The second thing is the black label. Okay, black label category. This is all about the energies and the moving forces, this kind of stuff. It's like energies. When you have energies and things, they run faster and you can absorb things better. You can do things better. It's like about power, you know, the inside stuff. Like when the inside of you, when you have more energy, what, what happened, right? What happened when you have more energy inside? Well, you have the drive to do this thing better. You have the power to grind through obstacles, right? What the energy? Okay. Now you have the potential, you have energy, and this last one is something that's very, 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 very special. This is what we call the yellow energy. The yellow energy is uh, like the, it's like the energy that allows you to make command changes and start things up. It's, you can summarize it as the creation energy. It's like the energy of your CPU of the computer, okay? It's very powerful. This, this energy allows you to make changes to things. For example, you have a plan, right? You've got more white energy, you can have a more uh, growth potential for that plan. You have more black, the plan will run faster and smoother. You have more yellow, the plan can change if it it is facing obstacles or, you know, you need something new to go inside this plan. You cannot just put resources. You need to put something new into it. Or maybe you want to, um, you want something to happen, something new to happen, things like that, okay? Now, you can have a lot of potential, but they're not going into reality. Some things are like that, right? Some people have a lot of potential, nothing happened. Nothing becomes reality. It's all potential. And then you're like daydreaming. Now with the yellow energy, you can make changes to things. Okay, things are paused, not working, stuck. You can unclog it. You can unblock it. You can remove obstacles. You know, when people are trying to co control your mind, okay, you can use this thing to override their controlling and bust it up and you're back to yourself. So the yellow energy is actually very, very important. And that is something that you, like, you really need a, a strong and cultivated source for you to take these energy. So being in a thousand lineage, such as our lineage, who knows what we're doing, of course. Now, if you enter a lineage and they don't know what they're doing, of course, it's like entering a, a school with very bad teachers, okay? You, even you graduate, you're a sucker in the society because you have no knowledge, right? They don't teach you stuff. Now, if you enter our lineage, you know, look at our YouTube, you know, you have a lot of things to learn, right? So when you enter, there's even more, okay? So yeah, there's a lot of things to learn and lots of theories. And so, you know, we know our shit, okay? We know what we're doing. So when you are practicing this stuff, you can get these extra energies. These what we call pre-heaven energies. These extra energy from our source, our source, sorry, our source, okay? Now, you don't understand what our source is. Like, it's hard to explain, uh, you know, in one small answer. But then you can, like, take a look at this like, like this, okay? Every lineage have their own bank, like their own library and their own bank of resources. Every lineage have their own. And that is why they're not the same family, right? So you enter our lineage, we have our own bank. If you enter the other lineage, you take their bank and their library. So... When you enter our lineage, you learn what we call talus magic. And don't relate that magic to like the Western kind of thinking because it messed your brain up. It doesn't make sense. Now, not what is magic? Very simple. I'm going to like take this fool, okay, right here. This is fake, okay? I just made it up for the demonstration purpose. Now, the yellow fool. Remember the yellow energy? It's the energy to control, to make changes, right? Now, okay, these are like tickets, okay? Tickets, like checks, you can write with the lineage 
uh, grammar or the language of what we use to communicate with our source. Okay, you write on here the foo that tells the source to, for example, withdraw power for what and what and what to happen, what and what and what changes, etc. After you write that check with like what to be done, what resources to take out, okay? After you write that check, you go to the altar, which is what you use to connect to the source. This is like the computer. It connects to the internet and to your own company's bank account, okay? Now you input this ticket, which we call check foo, okay? You, you ask the source to, to uh, give you the resources. Now, of course, the source is going to give you the resources and uh, it will be inside this thing. This is like a ticket. You apply it on whatever you want. Then there goes the resources, the job, and blend into whatever you're doing and that's how it can help you. So these energies are exclusively cultivated for our magical use. It's not your own energy, okay? And okay, you may want to ask, well, this is like some fishy stuff, okay? You got some free energy. What do I have to give to, to be able to take it? Well, very simple. In, uh, in our lineage, okay, we have these energies and we don't need you to give us these energy, okay? But there's other things that you'll be giving for the lineage and the source to uh, the, these places where you take from, which is things that they don't have. Okay, it's like I give you money. I don't need you to give me money. Okay, I, I need you to give me something else that I need. Okay, for example, you're a boss, right? You give money to your worker. You don't need your money back. Okay, you don't need the worker to give money. You need the worker to give back to the company with their hard work to do the job nice, give me result, give me like the final sales, you know, success. That's what I want to have. Okay, that's what the boss wants. Now, in the lineage, when you cultivate, the source don't need your energy. It doesn't need you to juice up yourself and give it to them. Okay, it doesn't need that. What you put for the source, what do you use to give back? It's very simple. It's things from this materialistic world, okay, that, uh, that the other side don't have. Which, for example, you can see uh, like very shallow here, okay. As you can see on the altar, you put food, some fruits, flowers, uh, and things like that, or incense, you know, things that you will put on the altar as food offerings and things like that. And basically, they don't eat your physical food, okay? It's the light, the smell, and thing that gives off the energy. Okay, that's my timer. Okay, anyway. Um, so it's the light and energy that gives off to the space and things and it let, let the altar sucks it in. Now, after a while, uh, your food and things on the altar, okay, after a few days uh, when they're about to be ready to be eaten, you can also take it back and eat and uh, you also benefit from eating those stuff. But anyway, the main point is you do not need to give these pre-heaven energy to take from the lineage source, okay? You give something else, okay? Um, uh, there's a lot of things that you can give, okay? Not only the fruit and food and things like that. Uh, also, for example, okay, your respect and things like that, okay? Your heart, you know, things like that, okay? Something that you can give and, and the source cannot give you, okay? Something that you will be giving back. Now, every day um, when you're working at your altar and things like that, you will do things that will take energies from the source and you will be doing things that will give back things to the source. Every day you will be taught how to do it. But the key point is you take these energies and you can put it into practical use onto almost anything in your life. Anything, okay? Like anything that you do, you can put the thing in like money. Anything you do, you give it more money, it will be better, okay? Anything you do, you put more plan and wisdom in there, it will be better, okay? So learning Taoism is like this. And so you'll be like, hey, but it's all energy work? Is there like philosophy and stuff? Yes, there is, okay? But the philosophy, the theory is what back up and support all the energy work and the magic that you're doing. It explains everything to you. So it's not like a blind belief where you just follow a bunch of routines that you don't know what the hell you're doing. It's a, like learning 
It's like learning science, how to build a computer, and you know, it's, you don't follow a manual and just keep doing it. You learn the theory to explain how everything works, and then at the same time, you use the, the method and stuff and follow instruction, and you do it, and you learn as you do. It's very practical. Now, of course, I have to say that there are very crappy lineages where you enter and like they don't teach you anything because they don't know anything. So not every lineage is the same. So when you're choosing which lineage to enter, the first thing you should ask is you look at the outside of this lineage and see what they're promoting. That's basically what you're going to get afterward, okay? If you they promote something like, oh, you know what? You join us and you can be chopped by the blade and basically you're going to be a Superman. Hey, that's a scam, okay? You enter there, you're going to be a scam, like be scammed all the time like that, okay? Basically, that's what you're going to get. So, you know, some people you look at this lineage and oh, they teach Tai Chi, okay? You want to learn Tai Chi, you go in and you get Tai Chi. Basically, what they promote on the surface is what you're going to get later on, but it's just more like a more extensive Okay, long term thing, but okay, yeah, that's basically it. So right here in our lineage right now, as you can see, we teach talus magic as our main dish. And talus magic is not a blind belief. It's something that is very solid. You can put it into everything in your life. And so if your friend is having any like uh, if they're having any life issues and things like that, you can use this magic to help the life to get better. And if you're actually facing spiritual attack and stuff like that, this thing can help you. Now, if you have nothing wrong in your life, you can still secure everything and prevent people from stealing your success. You know, when you're very successful, right, you will always have people jealous of you. And you don't want your success to be stolen or even to be like taking a cut somewhere. Okay, so learning Talus magic is like learning self-defense too. Even if you're not fighting, it protects you. It prevents things from happening and it makes your life better. Okay, that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.